so many lives were impacted by this place. <laughs> it is so special to so many people and, and I'm, I'm not <laughs> really the one to represent all the girls that that were affected and the you know young women and, and, and parents that were affected by this. Um, it's just an amazing place and we are so so blessed to have 30 of you all here. <laughs> I mean it's just amazing. Well, my name is Zach Tinkle. I'm the park manager here at Paris Landon State Park. I got here in uh, October 2018 and you know took a look at Camp Hazelwood and thought we need to do something with this place. And this is what we call our uh, group camping area or what we hope to be our group camping area. We've got uh, the seven rustic cabins with the bathhouse and showers, a counselor's cabin, and of course the, uh, the dining hall there. So what we're hoping to do is um, you know, number one, protect these structures that are here. They've been here a long time and they just they needed some updating and some some care. Um, and then number two, uh, we hope to, to find a way to open this up to the public, to rent it out to uh, groups, you know, church groups, wedding parties, um, Boy Scout groups, those sorts of things is, is kind of what we see the market being, family reunions, that sort of thing. A place where, you know, if you've got a large group of people, you know, with kids that, that want to come out and sort of have a, have a rustic experience, but still have the cabins and stuff to sleep in and a place for the, for the adults to get in the air conditioning, we think that this will kind of fit the bill for that. Everyone's getting their first view of Camp Hazelwood, the Girl Scout camp that we are going to rescue from Mother Nature. <laughs> what do you think? We got some work to do. <laughs> You can see the work behind us at Jolly Hall is well underway. Yeah, it's our day two here and destruction and uh, demolition pretty much was all completed here yesterday and putting it back together has already begun. I like it's construction. Yesterday was destruction, <laughs> today, today is construction. construction. Ah! And they've already started putting back some boards. We found a ton of uh, hornet nests and wasp nests. So they've gotten rid of all of that. They're putting all the boards in and they're starting to, they'll probably get the paneling and the new siding up starting tomorrow. But what they really wanna do is give the old bones some strengthening so that when we put it all back together again, good to go. Yeah, this mess hall is going to be really amazing. It's got a commercial kitchen inside. So if somebody wants to have a, you know, Christmas area or have a Boy Scout or Girl Scout or just a group come out, this place is going to be awesome. And we've got some work going on on a counselor's cabin. Um, our volunteers have ripped out the old kitchen and they are reinstalling the new kitchen. Yep, that entails new cabinets, countertop, sink, water heater, refrigerator, stove and oven. <laughs> Over at the, uh, there's a camp bathroom and a shower. Um, they've ripped out the old and breaking PVC piping and they're installing new PEX lines to, to make it a lot more resistant to the elements because all that piping is uh, on the outside. None of these buildings are heated. This is a group camping area meant for the summer. You don't need heat in the summer, but uh, they are 
doing amazing work there as well. <laughs> and it sounds like something good just happened. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the yelling in the background? <laughs> and of course, we have another crowd working on the cabins. At the cabins, there's a lot of screens that needed to be replaced, some repairs that needed to be done, some eaves that needed um, repaired and replaced as well. And we've taken all of the mattress pads out and we're getting them all cleaned and shiny so people will feel comfortable slapping a, a sleeping bag on them. And in true A Year to Volunteer fashion, we saw the park staff yesterday scrambling to get us equipment. <laughs> and I told the park manager, Zach Tinkle, I said, you know, we're doing it right. That's one of our little benchmarks um, that we're doing it right when you guys are jumping backwards through hoops to get everything that we need to get going. Because frankly, this is day two. Yeah, and we've already done a ton. And um, yeah, I'm thinking we can finish this up in a week and we'll add a few more things to our list. <laughs> I think we love I think we love doing this a year. I think we do. Thing, huh? We're here with the, the group, the Friends of Paris Landing State Park, who just provided us pizza. Pizza and drinks. For lunch. And cookies. We are going to be useless the rest of the afternoon. We got Rich, Joe, and Jean. We got the Air Force guy. We got two Army veterans. And uh, I, the first thing out of my mouth was wait, what? What happened? Navy? Could, Navy wouldn't let you in? <laughs> What's wrong? You okay? We have a zoning issue here. Yeah. Yeah. But they live here in the area and they basically um, represent 75% of the entire friends group um, because it's a very small group, but they took care of us beautifully. We want to say thank you guys so much. And I like to say y'all are tiny but mighty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. And it's, it's things like this that make us, that make this whole thing worth it. Absolutely. You know, when you guys come yeah. out and do yeah. something like this. So yeah. you guys thank are you. So we want to thank, we you, wanna so thank you for all you, you all yeah. have done and all your service to us and everything. Oh, really it's our pleasure. Place improvements and it's really looks amazing nice. what's been done so far yeah. well, i know just until they're able to rent it out and start making some revenue yeah. on it It'll yeah be wonderful. so excited this this baby has not had any work done on it for uh this this camp for a, at least 10 years according to zach and now we're giving it that breath of life so that we can recommission this it's like that hazelwood group camp or whatever they decide <laughs> to call it but uh but uh, glad you guys got to see what we're doing out here it's so good meeting you Nice thank you so much. If you guys are here before the yeah, end of the you. week, you want to say to say goodbye and see all the finished work, you come on over. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, come on over. Yeah, we'd love to. Friday afternoon, we should be all wrapped up. So if you want to see the finished product, Friday, so Friday yes, sir.
everybody, we've got Vicki Stevens Valentine here, and she used to be a Girl Scout at this camp. Vicki, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh gosh. Um, well, uh, I guess I would have to just say I'm a Girl Scout at heart. Uh, i one of those Girl Scout nerds, but I'm proud of that. I started day camp here, and I'm not going to tell you what year, uh, <laughs> at Camp Hazelwood, and then uh, camped uh, summer camps from the time I was nine until I was through high school, and then I came back as a counselor, and then I've worked on some other projects out here. Uh, I just rode out today to bring you a little snack. And she brought us some goodies. She brought us healthy goodies, some apples and some oranges and a whole bunch of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so just wanted to, you know, meet you all and, and say how much um, it's appreciated for what you're doing. Oh. How an, what an amazing thing. So these are the cabins that we did a bunch of repair and rescreening work to. We've primed and painted all of the roofs so they all match and are in good shape and come and see what we did on the inside. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video of our time here at Paris Landing State Park. If so, be sure to give us that thumbs up, like, subscribe, and continue to follow us on our journey of 5365. And if you're in the area of one of our projects, don't hesitate to shoot us a note, give us a comment, any way to reach out so that you can join us on our project and you do not need to have an RV. Nope, you can come in for a day, a couple of days, a weekend, whatever works for you. Thanks again and have a great day. Bye, y'all.